Welcome to the revolutionary Tile Ready Shower Pan installation video. The Tile Ready Shower Pan eliminates the need for conventional base mortar beds, vinyl liners, hot mopping, and piece puzzled shower components. Now the installer can install a leak proof, mold free tiled shower in less than an hour. To help guide you through this video, we've provided step by step numbers in the same order as the Tile Ready installation guide. Before the Tile Ready Shower Pan can be installed, make sure your frame shower stall area will fit the shower pan dimensions. When framing up, allow yourself about a sixteenth of an inch tolerance on each side so the shower pan will easily fit into place. Make sure the bore holes in the subtrate, whether it's wood or concrete, allows enough dimension to accommodate the molded shower pan drain body housing. Sweep out the shower stall area clean of any debris. Now, take the tile ready shower pan and test fit the drain housing into the sub floor borehole to make sure the shower pan is aligned properly and fits snugly against the frame studs on all sides. This next step depends on whether or not there is access to the drain connection from below the subfloor. If there is access from the subfloor below, the installer will cut a section of PVC pipe long enough so that it will extend below the subfloor and easily make a connection to the wastewater pipe. If there's no access from the subfloor below, make sure the drain pipe stubbed up from the subfloor is cut and adjusted to a height sufficient to fit properly into the shower pan drain connection. Whether you're installing on wood or concrete subtrain, make sure you pour out a half to three quarter inch dry set mortar bed onto subtrain and trowel. The purpose of this installation step is to set and level the shower pan and to assure that you fill any voids between the subtrate and shower pan. First, let's install the shower pan with access below the subtrate. The installer will brush the PVC pipe and drain hole area and make the pipe connection. The installer will set the shower pan onto the dry set mortar and allow for the drain pipe to extend through the subtrate. Now let's install the shower pan onto a subtrait with no access from below. During this installation, the drain pipe stubbed up through the subtrait was cut and adjusted to a height sufficient to fit properly into the shower pan drain connection. After either drain connection installations, you need to firmly press down the tile ready shower pan into place. Make sure there is a good seal between the floor and curb with the subtrait filling any high or low areas. Now that the pan is firmly pressed into place, take a level and make sure the curb and each splash wall is leveled for proper drainage. Our next step in completing our shower is installing the backer wall board. When installing the backer board to meet the shower pan splash walls, you will need to seal the joint between the two with 100% waterproof silicone. First, run a bead across the top edge of the splash wall. Next, bring your wall board down, securing it about an eighth of an inch from the splash wall, leaving room for the silicone sealer. Finally, take your finger and smooth the silicone between the joint. Waterproofing this area should be in accordance with the standards established by the Tile Council of North America. Now that the easy part is done, let's get to the easier part. The installer will adjust the height of the shower drain top as necessary to accommodate the ceramic tile or marble. Now the installer will prepare to tile the shower floor and will mix half of the included tile setting material that is shipped with every shower pan. The other half will be mixed later for tiling the curb and the 6 inch side splash walls. The installer will now spread the tile setting material to the shower pan floor area using a 3 16 or a 1 8 inch trowel depending on the tile, marble or stone being used.
The Tile Ready Shower is now leak-proof, giving you peace of mind for a lifetime.